Hello students. Again, we are going to be looking at another topic which is money and finance. Look at this is slide. This is just telling us uh, how our money grows. So it's from it's growing from this to this to this to this, and we have this huge uh, amount of money. So we divide money as a commodity that is generally acceptable and serve as a medium for economic exchange and finance is the creation uh, study and management of money so how we manage our money is uh what we call finance why money is that commodity uh, that is generally like, acceptable and serve as a means of uh, economic exchange so we have different type of currency here this is just giving us we have euro we have dollar there are so many type of uh currency here in different you know denomination so now we want to look at this what is let's give answer to this question we have here that is a commodity that is generally accepted and serve as a medium for economic exchange what is that i believe that is money let's check okay so we are right money is the answer now let's look at it we want to look at how can we convert uh, a denomination from one denomination to another denomination. So we have an example here. Let's just look at this picture. Let's follow it. Now, if you look at it, this is one euro. By the time you turn, you multiply with 1.5, it gives us this. And if you want to reduce it back from uh, 1.15, then you divide uh, 1.15 with uh, what we have here, then it gives us one euro so with that this is just an example of how we can actually convert our uh, one denomination to another denomination or one currency to another currency now let's look at another example here in 2017 one euro could be exchanged for 1.50 australia dollars now how many dollars can be buy with how many Australia dollars can be buy with 450 euros? So now, since they told us that we have one euro and we can exchange one euro to be what 1.50 Australia dollar. So if you want to get uh, Australia dollar with this euro, which is 450 euro, what we just need to do is what we multiply 1.5 Australia dollars with 450 euros. So by the time we multiply 450 euro with uh, 1.5 Australia dollars, then we can now have uh, 675 Australia dollars. So we can have 675 Australia dollar from 450 euro. So we have this. Now 1.50 multiplied by 450, we give us 675. So let's check. Now we are right. Now let's look at another one, exchange rates. An exchange rate is the rate at which one currency will be exchanged for another currency and affects trade and the movement of money between countries. So by the time you exchange one currency, you have a, a US dollars, you want to exchange it with Australia dollar, it will affect the trade and the movement of money between that uh, country. Now we have different NEZ, different ways, uh, we can look at this this is we have dollar we have pounds we have so different type of money here so now what is any what is any uh, any is now let's look at it under any we have what any means that we are take home what we earn after we discharge the goods or uh, a service to someone so net pay is what is left after deducting uh tax insurance pension contributions are taken from our gross and so we have our net pain after we have deducted everything that we need to deduct from our gross are uh, any like tax insurance pension contribution and net pay that is gross pay minus deduction that's how we can actually calculate our net pay gross pay minus deduction a bonus is an extra payment sometimes added to an employee basic uh pay so when we have a bonus it's just an, an addition to our basic pay as an employee now peers work is another payment method so uh employee are paid 
for the numbers of articles made not for the time taken. So when you are talking about peers work, it's just like another way of, you know, re-enumerating an employee, you know, by adding to the basic pay of an employee based on the numbers of articles that is being made, but not the time that is being taken for that article to be made. So that is how we calculate our net pay. Our net pay is calculated by subtracting our gross payment from our deduction. Deduction like what? Tax, insurance, and pension contribution. Now, we have an example here. New works at home making clothes. The pattern and the materials are provided by the company. The table shows the rate she's paid and the number of items she makes in one week. So, he has jackets. She's being paid 25 rand when she makes three. So for trousers, 11 rand for 12. For a shirt, 13 rand for seven uh, numbers of shirts. Now for a dress, we have 12 rand for even zero numbers. So that applies for dress. Uh, Neil did not make any dress. Now with that, let's see what we are to do. Okay, we are, I think we are supposed to do have a calculation here, okay? Now we have to calculate the gross earning and we have to calculate the deduction amount to 15% of the gross earning in our net pay. So that's our calculation. And let's see the calculation. Now for the gross earning, what's the gross earning? That is the total amount of money she earned after making the shirts, the dress, uh, and every other, the jacket and every other thing. So for the first one, we have 25 uh, times three that is it makes as uh, she it makes three and each one stands for 25 rounds so for the second one uh, she makes 12 and each one stands for 11 rounds the third one she makes seven and each one stands for 13 rounds and for the last one she makes zero and each dress even starts from what 12 rand. So we have to get the gross earning by multiplying 25 times 3 plus 11 times 12 plus 13 times 7 plus 12 times 0. So that will give us the total amount she's earning after making all the clothing uh, material. So let's check. Okay, so we are solving that is 25 times 3. What is going to give us? 25 times 3 will give us 75. We have 75 plus um, 11 times 12. We give us 132 plus uh, 13 times 7. What is that? 13 times 7 will give us 91. And 12 times 0 is what? 12 times 0 is 0. So by the time we add all of this together, we have 298 rand. So that news gross any is 298 rand. Now, we need to check is this deduction. So the deduction is what they, are, they said is 25% of the gross earning. Gross earning is 298 rand. So we have to look for 25% uh, of 298 rand. So it's going to be what? 25 multiplied by over 100 multiplied by 298 rand. So if we do that, we are going to be having 44.7 uh, run. So after this is uh, is a deduction. Now for the net pay, I've told us earlier that for us to have net pay is going to be gross any minor deduction. So we are going to be having 29, 20, we are going to be having 298 rounds, 298 rounds minus 44.7 rounds. 44.7 rand. So, what is that? If you have 298 rand minus 44.7 rand, our answer is going to be 253.3 rand. So, 253.3 rand is the net pay for new service. Now, let's take us to the next slide. Now, we are looking at percentage profit and loss. Simply, profit is a financial gain after deducting the amount earned and the amount spent on buying, operating, and producing something. Why loss is amount of money lost by a business or an organization. 
profit and losses can be expressed in percentage and how do we multiply them the profits or loss is divided by the uh cost price multiplied by 100 so that's how we can calculate our profit percentage loss and percentage profits now this is the expression for profit you are selling price minus cost price uh, or the buying price now for us to get percentage profit is going to be profit divided by the cost cost price multiplied by 100 now for loss is going to be cost the uh, price minus uh, the selling price so the percentage loss is going to be loss over co cost price multiplied by 100 so with this we are going to look at some examples so let's have the example here a woman buy a car for $75,000 and sell it two years later for $4,500. Calculate a loss over two years as percentage of the cost price. So for us to get that, the very first thing is we have to find the loss. What is the loss? We are deducting uh, the cost price minus selling price. So with that, we are going to get the loss. So let's calculate the loss. After that, then we'll look for the loss percent. So okay, loss is going to be the normal loss for that woman is going to be seven thousand five hundred minus dollars minus uh four thousand five hundred. So that will give us uh three thousand dollars. Now, for the percentage loss, it's now going to be loss over cost price. Let's dot it as B, multiply by 100. What is loss there? Our loss is $3,000. And why the cost price is $7,500? So it's going to be 3000 over 7500 multiplied by 100. So this I remember we are dealing with percent so this can actually cancel this so we have uh 3000 divided by 75 3000 divided by 75 will give us 40 so we have 40 percent so this leads us to the next uh example that we have okay this leads us to depre uh, depreciation when you're talking about depreciation we have when something become worth less over a period of time it is said to depreciate so when something reduces its value then they will say that that's a, a quantity or that a item depreciates so when we want to calculate a depreciation mathematically it's going to be what cost price minus the selling price cost price minus the selling price so if we have an example here to do we have to subtract uh, the cost price minus seven the selling price so Cost price minus the selling price, which is $4,500 minus $4,005. That's going to be what? That is uh, $495. So the depreciation value is $495. Now we have an activity here for us to do. Now in 2017, one euro could be exchanged for what based on our previous activities one euro could be exchanged for what the one euro could be exchanged for 1.5 uh australia dollar so 1.5 australia dollar let's check yes we are right so this take us to the end of the class we want you to subscribe to our channel www.edub.com for the full interactive content of this class. Thanks for listening.